part you've got in your hand? This is a watch link. So it forms part of the bracelet of the, of the watch. Okay, now we're gonna find out how it's made, but before we do, how quickly is something like this machined? Well, they come in various shapes and sizes, but a typical watch link, as we call it, would be around 15 seconds, say. 15 seconds, now that's really fast. How is it done in that speed? Well, it's, it's done on a, on a machine that's um, within the family of rotary transfer type machines, if you like. So eight workstations, each with four spindles, simultaneously machining the, the watch link. So the slowest of the stations is the cycle time. Okay, now looking at the machine, because it's a Boomatech S1000C, to me, there's a lot of, I look at multi-spindle machines and there's a lot of similarities. What, what is the difference? This is a milling machine. It's purely for mill components. And it's purely for high volume, very low cycle time productivity. Okay, now how much faster would it be making it on a machine like this compared to maybe methods that were used, uh, you know, in time gone by? Well, it's 36 spindles running simultaneously. So you could say it's up to 36 times faster depending on what you're comparing it to. And this is only just one part of many that could be uh, made on a machine of this nature. Could you maybe give us some other examples of industries that a machine like this could lend itself to? Well, typically this would be the luxury goods market, it could be electrical components market, it could be small automotive components market. And the aim would be basically to reduce cycle times and improve productivity. It's all about cycle time and product cost.